but water is scarce. Um, we normally out of water for at least about three to four months without water. Sometimes you have a house or at least about eight persons staying in it, and trust me, two bucket pan of water to last that for at least three to four days. Two bucket pan of water, <laughs> you gotta cook, <laughs> wash, <laughs> and plus drink. <laughs> So, it's kind of tough. The, the job was so bad yeah. that a lot of people used to go to the well at 4 in the morning, like 4 o'clock in the morning, yeah. and they would yeah. send on the kids. Right, so like, how old were you then? About 10. 10. Okay. Wow. They put it on the well and they fill up the box and set it up. Yes, not, not bad, but I can live with that at least. Yeah. Also, it all depends on how many money you have. Okay. Yeah, then so you know, that the sometimes you, know, you make sure that you have a, maybe a small house but a big system. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, yeah. because you don't know how it is in Carrick. Yeah. Yo! On the top side, they use boron. But over here, we have no boron. A certain part in town is boron. The boron water ain't too good in town because it's kind of salty. When, when you're in these places and then we could say water is life because you're constantly having water. But yeah. When you with here, you get a cup of water, you have to cherish your cup of water. And if you go by somebody and they refuse to your pan of water, you will cry because you know how much people in that home are waiting for some water to drink? Water saves life. Mm -hmm. Trust me, these places are like Barbados, the United States, just like Dominica. It's like this is where water is like one, one drop of that water is essential here. We don't waste water here, so I only find people wasting water. You see, I mean, this is something, as I said, this is something we grew up knowing. How to cherish water because <laughs> we brace yourself for the hard days. We brace yourself for the hard days.